All right, man. So we're gonna do a little thing. We're gonna do a little different. We got um trap news, and um, I'm gonna give us the rundown on his take with um little dirt crash out behind King Von and Brick Baby dropping the low. Another one. I appreciate all the uh, support. Thanks for everyone who subscribed to the channel. If you ain't sub to my channel, make sure you do. Make sure you join the membership. Shout out to all my moms. If you ain't following them, you can follow their ass at the end of this video. Remember, if you got anything extra, food, hygiene, clothes, bag it up, take it outside, and give it to the less fortunate. Remember, we all one step away from being homeless. Mother Nature could come, destroy everything, and now you're homeless. So make sure you get back. With that being said, let's say the kids, the women, the elders, the neutrons, and the civilians, man. Happy Saturday to everybody. We talking about Lil Dirt. We talking about King Von. We talking about the old Block 5. And we talking about Brick Baby, man. Make sure you smash that like button so this video can get around. Remember, if you want to support me, go to Nene Marie 37 on Instagram and purchase you a signed copy of my book. All right, let's get started, y'all. All right, so King Lil Dirt, man, and, and, and the biggest trouble of his life, man, that he ever been in, man. We seen Lil Dirt. He escaped everything, man, like a smooth criminal, and we thought it was over with, man. And don't think that I'm happy... Um, because of cause you, cause of my voice. Hey, look, I don't give a fuck. He did it himself. Let's start there. He did it himself. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't got 60 million. I never seen what 60 million looked like. So for him to have all that money and and and, and getting a crossfire like this, he bogus, man. Hey, look, I'm gonna start off with King Von though. King Von, he should never participated in nothing with King Von, man. I'm telling you, bro, he should have let King Von stay in Chicago, man. Every since he Hold on, I guess so. I've been seeing a lot of back and forth conference um I'm back and forth talking about it's King Vaughn's fault. He would have never been in this mess if, you know, he didn't have to slide for King Vaughn. Some people make a good argument. Um, my argument would be like, granted that Georgia is the hot spot for artists and whatnot, but you went out to Georgia because you were celebrating your album release. You were once cool with Quando, no longer cool with him. You see him smoking up. You, little Tim hops out. Five shots. Where I feel like people wanted Lil Dirt to be like, nah, bro, you should have stayed in Chicago or you should have went to Cali, should have went anywhere else but Georgia to go celebrate album release. And even if you did go to Georgia, bro, just don't get yourself in no mess. Picked up King Vine, bro. And took him out and showed him what it was like to get money and shit. Man, Dirk been having troubles, man. He been having troubles. All type of troubles. Atlanta, people getting robbed. Rappers getting robbed. Like, even the shit that you, we don't hear about. Like, people was getting robbed while Dirk was, they was around Dirk and them. Dirk and them was getting, letting people get robbed and shit like that. Didn't say nothing to Vine. Didn't um, know about that. Quando Rondo, them, the whole situation is just like O Block situation, bro. Over a female. Quando Rondo, um, NBA young boy, King Von, man. That, that wait, wait, wait. I never really knew the full story why they were beefing. But if you really finna tell me the whole reason they were beefing was because of a female? Why do rappers do this? Why do y'all get in the position of where you can provide for others, but you let some, like, what happened to the whole thing? There's more fish than the sea. That shit was all over Belasian down, bro, just like with TZ. You hear me? And I just feel like Vaughn is a cause of the destruction. Everybody he been around, bro. They got life in prison now, bro. They like they like they getting life. They they life destroyed, bro. Like they 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 can't get no regular jobs no more. None of that shit. Like yeah, it just they life destroyed, bro. Vaughn was a demon. But look, Dirk, man, look, Dirk. I know damn well, bro. You ain't flying on no private plane like they said you did. 
to California, bro, to orchestrate a hit. They saying that Lil Durk was in California. He wasn't on the crime scene, but they said Lil Durk came, plotted the hit, and then he flew out with the guy who was buying all the ski masks and, 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 and all this shit in California. He flew out with the niggas who, like, like, it's crazy, bro. I can't believe this, man. I just can't believe it, but I believe it, man. And not only that, the guy paid with the OTF credit card, so that's conspiracy. And that's another thing. How you a how you how you a thieving a thieving a criminal? That's what I'ma just say, right? And you go use anything that can trace back to you or your label. You um, when you say how through. can you tie the money to dirt? Well, you got text messages from Lil Dirt saying, "Don't put my name, don't attach my name to nobody who you buy plane tickets for," and he attached OTF to it anyway. That's conspiracy. Um, so yeah, they got Lil Dirt. He nailed to the cross, man. I don't care how much money he got, y'all say he got, man, he gone, bro. He gone. He did to himself. And then with the old Block Five, look how dirty, look how dirty the old Block Five was did. Okay, even if you can't send old Block Five money through your account. Man, Lil Durk now was running around with a lot of money, with a lot of cash. I ain't talking about no credit cards and none of that. I'm talking about undisclosed. They get rap money. O Block 5 didn't have no lawyers. They ain't got no commissary. And they believed in some shit that they was going to crash out and they was going to be rich. Not only Vaughn, but we got Dirk. We got D-Thing. Man, and they ain't, hey, look, they ain't get shit, man, but a life sentence. On their thing because they believe they believe that they was gonna get rich, same as these guys who went. They was promised record deals, promised money. Bro, Dirk tweak, tweaking. That was the same. Um, that was the same situation with the Young Dolph thing, wasn't it? But he thought he was gonna. Well, not even well, but he crashed out for whoever. The money that they were supposed to give him, he was like, hey, that's another thing. You finna crash out because you never had this much, this this amount of money. And then when after you crash out, you're planning to use this amount of money if to invest in something that you know is gonna flop. Because let's be honest, if you were if if you really was taking your rap career serious, I don't think you would have been in a position where you had to like do something for extra money just to put the money behind your rap career. If that makes sense. Bro, I don't know if he, he thought he was going to get away with this shit. I don't know, man. And then it really don't look good when you put, you book three flights. He booked a flight to Switzerland. He booked a flight to Italy and Dubai Emirates. It, it, like, like, come on, man. You trying to run. Ain't no bond for that. And why would you try to run? Why would you book three tickets? I don't want to hear um, tours to get low, bro. Bro, I am telling you guys this. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure who I had to react. Oh, I think with a young thug. No, when I was doing a reaction to uh, Gorilla, right? And I said, bro, honestly, the music industry right now is being taken over by females, bro. Too many of the, the, the male rappers are being locked up, getting hit with Rico charge. Yeah, we just got uh, Young Thug back, but he can't rap about certain things. Gunna, it's like certain people ain't even trying to listen to Gunna, and I ain't never been on Gunna until that nigga got locked up. You feel me? So I'm like, okay. Uh, YFM, YF, Lucci. I was bumming his shit real hard before he went in, and what? Why, um... You got Melly. Who else you got? Uh, you got so on and so on. Hold on. What happened? Huh? Why you on my chips? Okay, I'm sorry that your brother ate all your chips. Bye. I'm sorry. She hot, her little brother, her, her brother ate her chip, she mad, I can't do nothing at bedtime for her right now anyways. Bro, cause if you ain't did shit, just like he ain't did shit with Vine them, he knew he ain't do nothing, 
Well, we think he he ain't he knew he ain't do nothing. He went right in, turned himself in with his lawyer, bro, for the bond shit. They say Vaughn would be locked up right now if the case was still open, if, if, if Vaughn was alive. Then this shit come and Brick Baby. Now, this is what Brick Baby kick in at. I don't know if Brick Baby going to be in the paperwork. I ain't going to stamp that. I ain't going to stamp that. I do stamp that jam told on on um Lil Dirk, though. He, he, he got down on him. Lil Dirk left him. Jam, jam, jammed him up. Jam was in a jam. He called Lil Dirk, who he thought was going to you know help him out. Lil it's your turn <coughs> to shine on the big screen. This vibe, launching your TV ad campaign could not be simple. Lil Dirk told him, man, I already gave you 50, dog. What happened to your 50,000? And he like, damn, you tripping over 50,000? I bet. Hang up, baby mama. And she he called the people who was going to get him out of jail. You ain't get him out. So he called the people who was going to get him out of jail, which was the feds. On that thing. Ain't no rules to the streets. So everybody on the internet time about some snitch, this, snitch. Hey, look, ain't no rules, man. When it comes to the streets, bro. By any means necessary, bro. When you say it ain't no rules, how can you say no snitching? Then you say ain't no rules. All right. So honestly, in my opinion, I just feel like... Yeah, you made a certain image. You made an image where everybody wants you to portray that image. You so-called street, you know, you live by this, you die by that, whatever the case was. Um, that's what really, that was the biggest downfall. Um, to me, I also feel like if you would have just said, let everything die out, you are an artist. You are not a regular uh citizen you are not you are a high profile person bro so you told me that something that happened in uh, something that something that happened in Atlanta whatever the case is Quano can't do no shows in in, in, in Chicago bet all right but some of y'all like to go overboard and be like oh you can't do shows here 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 like you the presidential um if he can't do shows in, in, in Chicago, bet. Not a problem, you feel me? But I feel like by like right there, everybody should go their own separate ways. Because if everybody would have went their separate ways, yeah. Quando, not Quando. Vaughn would have still been RIP to this day, but you would have been home with your kid and wife right now. And then on top of that, right? On top of that. I don't know why do y'all niggas swear like... Like, just because you, let's just, we're just going to say it like this. Just because you are a multi, uh, a multi, uh, not, well, not even a lot of you are multi-millionaires. Just, some of you are very rich, right? What makes you think money going to keep anybody quiet? Especially if they throw their whole life away. Like, let's be honest, like, you go do a crime, you go do some crash out, whatever the case is, bro, and then you get caught in the in the, in, in the midst of it, and they're talking about you looking at life, you looking at no possible parole or nothing like that. Everything starts to settle in, everything starts to, like, come in, and now you're just like, and then I feel like it falls on, just saying, dirt part. Dirt should have just been like just sorry to say that but just take a L bro. You could have took the L by not getting your hand dirty at all where you wouldn't even have to be in this position. Ain't no rules in the streets. I'm just telling you. So Brick Baby man, I really think Brick Baby Drop the blues clues to the police, bro. Brick Baby got locked up with a Draco, AK-47, whatever y'all want to say he got locked up with. That man ain't went to court. That man ain't 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 ain't, ain't time like his, his lawyer beat. He got caught red-handed with it. If you get caught red-handed with something, what is your lawyer beat? He ain't been to court the whole time. In fact, I can't even look up Brick Baby court date. So where is Brick Baby court date? You know what I'm saying? He for him not to go to court day. for a year. What type of time, California? If you from California, get on the comments and let me know, man. Y'all get... 
I ain't from California, but I'm gonna just go with what I think will happen. He dropped the he dropped the blues clues, you know. We got a blues clues. They found it. Um, they hit him with some charges, and he said, "Hold up, hold, hold up, blood." Uh, my bad, wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, the dead homie, hold up. I tell you, I tell you who off what you call it on the dead homie. On hood. He called with guns, bro, a chopper in California. I know y'all ain't even supposed to hide no guns. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, bring back. Hey, but I'm gonna get at y'all on the next one. Hit that like, hit that Chris. Hit that like and that subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. And I uh, follow me on Twitch. Ha, one.